us now. Uh, Darren, what exactly did Martin Selmayr, the European Commission Secretary General, have to say? Well, he was meeting today uh, to with a cross-party group of British MPs uh, from the Brexit UK parliamentary uh, group, trying to work out a way forward through this vexed issue of the Irish backstop and the Irish border, how to keep that border on the island of Ireland as free and frictionless as it currently is. Uh, with uh, Britain leaving the European Union and most notably, of course, leaving the Customs Union. Uh, today, he was again suggesting, at least publicly, that uh, the EU is not willing to reopen the withdrawal agreement, though there are suggestions in private uh, that there could be further uh, guarantees, potentially with legal ramifications given to uh, Theresa May and the British government on this idea of the backstop, that it will simply be uh, temporary, uh, in order to try and get the withdrawal agreement through the UK Houses of Parliament. Also suggestions uh, that the Irish government is under, coming under an awful lot of pressure uh, from other EU countries uh, to try and see if there is some wriggle room uh, on this. Of course, Brexiteers object to the Irish backstop uh, as it currently stands because it is not time limited and the UK cannot unilaterally uh, leave it. So, yet again, we are back uh, to this issue uh, with talk about alternative issues, uh, talk about uh, trying to get some way through, but at the moment it's still looking to as complicated as ever. Well, so many of the governments who, the insiders who've been speaking over the last week have said they don't want to re reveal details in public. We've got Theresa May coming to Northern Ireland or going to Northern Ireland tomorrow. What's she expected to say? I think in part uh, she is there to try and reassure, she would argue, and Downing Street have said this afternoon, the people of Northern Ireland, uh, that she has got the best interest at heart, that she is working in the national interest that includes Britain and uh, Northern Ireland. And ultimately, whatever happens, even in the event of a no-deal Brexit, the British government are determined to keep the border in Northern Ireland as it is, as free and frictionless as it currently uh, stands. Uh, clearly, though, uh, in part this is political because not least of all, she needs to retain the support of those Northern Irish Unionist MPs who are part of a supply and confidence deal to keep a government in place. Uh, but second of all, uh, this is politically tricky uh, territory because, of course, uh, Northern Ireland it was a part of the United Kingdom uh, that voted to remain inside uh, the European uh, Union. Uh, and so uh, Theresa May is having to put across the British government's message about why her deal is good, uh, not just for the UK, but also for Northern Ireland, to try and win over, it must be said, a pretty sceptical uh, Northern Irish public.